Um, so, um, my name is Edwige Collin. Um, I'm working for actumag.fr. It's a French web media. So, I will record this interview and if it's all okay for you, and I, we will share it on our YouTube um, page. Yeah, cool. Really nice to meet you. I was a huge fan of the Spice Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Here, lovely to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I watch your two new clip video clip, and um, I see that you have released two new singles on YouTube uh, Blame It On Me and Who I Am. Can yeah. you explain to us what inspired you? Yeah, well, Who I Am was the first single from my new album, which is going to be released later this year. And it's such a good introduction to the album because it's really about self-acceptance. And I wanted to make an album, I wanted to make a pop record that was electronic and quite dance, had quite a dance feel, but I wanted the lyric to be heartfelt and empowering. You know, the whole album, I want it to, I want it to be an empowering record for people. And Who I Am is wonderful because it's really about, you know, dropping your armor, being comfortable in your own skin and, and really celebrating who you are. And then Blame It On Me, which is the second single is, I mean, it's, I'm so excited. It's been doing so well, you know, here in the UK, it's on the radio all the time. It's so lovely to hear. And that album, that, that song rather, sorry, is more, it's about those times in life when you think you know somebody and then they just let you down and they're just not the person you thought they were. And it's, you know, very cathartic to, you know, let those emotions and those feelings out in a song. You know, it's, it's probably, it's got a bit more swagger than who I am. Who I am is more empowering and, and blame it on me is a bit angry. Yeah, so it's definitely. Nice to play with these emotions. And <laughs> did you already decide what will be the name of your new album? Um, I'm yeah, I think I know what I'm going to call it. I'm not really revealing it just yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we will soon. Okay, great. So yes, on this video clip, there is two completely different style. There is on Blame It On Me, you are sporty, you're fighting in a video game like Tekken um, and uh, and in Who I Am, you are dressed as working girl and you see yourself in a museum in a um with different clothes um but um what is actually the real you how did how did you feel more like a fighter or more like a working man uh, woman hey, you know what that's such an interesting question because this whole album is a voyage of self-discovery and when i was on stage with the spice girls last year i realized that you know, because I was thinking, can I become Sporty Spice again? And then I realized I don't become her, I am her. So I started to think, wow, I am all of these things. I'm Melanie C, Mel C, Sporty Spice, mum, daughter, girlfriend. I mean, we are, especially with like lockdown and quarantine, we're like, you know, any mums out there, we are <laughs> school teachers now, we are cleaners, we are cooks, we're everything. So I think... I'm all of those things, you know, there are times in life when you've got to fight, you've got to fight for yourself, you've got to fight for justice. And there are times, you know, the Who I Am video is interesting because, you know, it's quite conceptual in that we wanted to create, you know, all these images are different times in my career. Like, I'm like a little model of Sporty Spice yes. or like, a, you know, there's a part in my career when I'm like this statue and then there's my, me today. And, and it was like, it was really interesting because I had to kind of face myself and all of these times and it was it was a bit weird and it was quite hard like my Northern Star image my first album I had shorter blonde hair you know I had some personal issues at that time so to look like that again kind of freaked me out and um, you know I, I had to make peace with it all and I thought that's what we need to do. We need to make peace with ourselves because, you know, we don't ever really change that much. You know, that essence of who you are as a child is always there, but we get like, we get sidetracked by the influenced by maybe it's people, friends, peer groups, or 
you know, culture, TV, whatever it is. And it's like, no, just, just come back to who you are because we are many, many different things, but the essence of us is always the same. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, if I completely forgot your haircut in blonde, I, I <laughs> yeah. don't remember you as blonde, seriously. <laughs> I know, it's like so not me, but you know. <laughs> I was trying something out. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Um, in this new album, or maybe in a future album, did you would like to have a duet with a singer? Do you know what? I do have a collaboration on the album. Oh, um, yeah, and I'm okay. I'm so excited about it because I absolutely adore her. So Nadia Rose okay. is a grandma from here in the UK. I believe she's done some shows in France, so you know people will know her there. She is such a bundle of energy and she is such a positive, strong female. And I think in the genre of music that she works, you know, in the, the grime world here in the UK, kind of like an urban sound, it's, it's quite male dominated, but she's there and she's strong and she's given out very positive messages. So it was really exciting to, to get into the studio with Great. her. It was, yeah, quite an unusual collaboration and it's turned out amazing. So I'm very excited for people to hear that. So uh, do you know when you will you will um, show us a new YouTube video of her new single? Do you have any um, date? Yeah, well, I, I know it, it's not going to be long because we're shooting next week. Great. Uh, it's interesting. We're just figuring out how you shoot with the uh, COVID right now with social distancing but yeah we we have another single that we that we want to drop um during summertime so yeah so we need to get the the video made great great um yes about uh, did you did you intend to participate to a festival in uk or in europe uh, maybe this year or next year luckily all of my live work is planned for 21 so we are you know obviously still looking at the feasibility of that and and um when the best time will be to do that but i'll definitely be touring this record next year yeah it's great so also a concert maybe for, 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 for summer for, I, i was talking about maybe summer festival but i i don't know if, if you have so much summer festival in uk oh my gosh we have so many and <laughs> you know the, the the concerning thing for me kind of the phase i'm at with with the project is so all the all the festivals this year have been moved to next year so yes. all of the artists who were due to perform this year are performing next year so you know hopefully they'll find some space for me to yes to sure mm -hmm. ah great great so your kid is back to cl to school now i think it's yeah, uh, yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. I mean, homeschooling is just a disaster. It was so hard. I've been so busy, you know, obviously promoting the record Seriously. and trying to homeschool and break up fights and, you know, ah. Um, so yeah, so she's back. Will they break up next week for the summer break? Yes, it's this week for us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to business. <laughs> so yeah, back to the kind of original lockdown. But We, we can travel a little bit more now. So I'm going to go and visit my parents because obviously I haven't seen them for months. So we're going to go and just spend some time going to see people because, you know, we can do a bit more of that now. You're based in London? Yes. Yes, okay. And um, how did you leave this uh, COVID quarantine uh, with all your plan you have? Uh, how, how did you leave that? We had to rethink everything and... You know, like everything, there's good and bad, right? So I have been able to speak to people all over the world from the comfort of my living room, <laughs> <laughs> which has been lovely. But also it's been tough because, you know, the kids are here, you know, I've got a house full and, you know, sometimes there's like screaming arguments going on right outside the door. And I've missed people, you know, yes. everyone I've missed. I've missed traveling. I've missed you know, being in places like Paris and all these wonderful countries I visit and, and just the, you know, that experience of being somewhere else, you know, a change of scenery. I think we're all just like so bored of our environment, aren't we? Um, I just have a question about the Spice Girl. You has been reunited in a reunion tour in 2019. Would you like to have this kind of concert again? Definitely. Would you love to? I would love to. I mean, ah, great. 
we are constantly talking about, you know, what the future holds for the Spice Girls, the things that we'd like to do. And uh, yeah, I'm always pushing more shows, more shows. So me and Mel B are like, more shows, more shows. So um, yeah, we're definitely talking about it. Of course, all artists are kind of in limbo because of COVID and, you know, the, the live um, the live touring world is really, you know, struggling because of this situation. So we're just keeping an eye on it. And, you know, hopefully at some point, you know, we, we will get back on stage together. Oh, yeah, that's really great. Yeah. You have so much fun around the road and uh, yeah. But I, I really, really love your new single. It's it's really great. Uh, Blame It On Me is probably one of my favorite because I love this. Uh, I love the video clip. It's really uh, energetic and really great. No, yeah. seriously, you're amazing on it. You're oh, really good. Thank you. I'm pleased with it. It's fun because I, I love the concept. You know, it's kind of like a 80s, 90s video game, like Street Fighter kind of thing. And Sam, who I'm fighting, is the most beautiful martial artist. He, you know, taught me so many great moves. And, um, the other thing I loved, because it made me think of Say You'll Be There, you know, the Spice Girls second single, the video we did in the yes. desert, where we did, like, I was Katrina High Kick. And so with the, um, a lot of the graphics, we wanted to put some references in there. So there's, like, some Spice Girls references, some lyrics and song titles, and there's, like, previous solo work titles in there. So I think for fans that have followed my career, there's lots of, like, little things they can see when they watch okay. it. Thank you very much, Melanie. It was really a pleasure to meet you and uh, good luck for all the rest. Thank you so much. I hope to see you in Paris soon. Yes, me too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye.